Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 9.2.1. This is a very minor update, and the way you can always tell that is if you have a 9.2, add a dot one or dot two behind that, and it means it's very minor, but actually fixes a few important things. So this particular update is actually a, a more recent build than what you had with the beta, so let's take a look at the build number. As you can see down here, we have build 13D15. And this particular build is really no different than the beta that I could see, but basically this is an update that has security updates, bug fixes, including a fix for uh, an issue that could actually prevent some completing of using mobile device management servers. So if maybe you're at a school or something and they're pushing updates for mobile device management, this could actually be been affected prior to this patch, so this fixes some of that. Now we don't really see anything that you can see physically, nothing's really different here, uh, but what is different is this next update that we're going to see probably around March, which is iOS 9.3. Now I've done some preview videos of that as well, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below, but that adds some significant updates such as quick settings under settings. Right now you can see there's nothing. I add some changes here and there all over the place really, and there's a bunch of bug fixes there also. So it has some really nice things that hopefully we see some big changes such as Wi-Fi calling on the next update, some changes to notes, Health, Siri, CarPlay, and, and more. So pretty big there. But for 9.2.1, that's pretty much it. Not a whole lot more to say about it. Uh, it's available for iPhones and iPads as well. And then Apple also released some updates for the Mac and iMovie. So maybe we'll cover that in another video. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments below, if you want to see Mac updates, things like that. Uh, this wallpaper is nothing special. This particular wallpaper is found in the wallpapers that come with iOS, if you're not familiar with that. So if you have any other questions or comments let me know in the comments below and this is an iphone 6s for those of you that are curious so let me know what you think in the comments below if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and like as always thanks for watching this is aaron i'll see you next time